West to Harmin Freon and welcome to it in another video. Oh my dear friends, please look at the screen. This is exactly why I was forced to leave academia. We shall have some laughs today, alright? Welcome, my dear friends. If you're here for the first time, I'm European Law. Feel free to check out my channel and my other videos. I'm just a humble guy from Central Europe who has devoted his entire personal and academic life to the good things, to the finer things, among which, of course, I do count the works of Professor Tolkien and other books of the fantasy genre of the 20th century, as well as the good old English literature, and that is why this channel is from a huge part devoted to defending these works of art, especially from people like uh, the person who wrote this article. Now, of course, we have encountered uh, this particular approach many times uh, before, and uh, more and more so than lately, when The Rings of Power uh, has come out already and finally, and seven episodes have come out as of making of this video, and we know now, quite objectively, that the show is bad. Not only does it not have anything to do with the works of Professor Tolkien, and 100% of the entire story is made up by Amazon, but the show on its own is very poorly made. Now please feel free to check out my reviews of the individual episodes and uh, you can go into depth with me and discover all the crimes against art that Amazon has done. As well as all the videos that I've made and I will be referring to some of my videos throughout this entire article because sometimes it uh, is not enough to use only a couple of words to disprove the claims that this woman is doing, but uh, it's better to check out my entire video. So shall we look at this madness that this uh, crazy hag has come up with? Now I have to warn you, from time to time, throughout reading this article, I will have to beep myself out or <coughs> read some words in a bit incom incomprehensible manner because uh, YouTube works in the way that they like to use their algorithm to, well, search for certain words and then demonetize the video and I shall not like to make them happy. So let us begin. The Rings of Power. Every adaptation is reinterpretation, so ignore the haters. Now this is precisely the word that is being used, among other words, to label us. The people who are not satisfied with the poor product of a huge corporation. We are not mere consumers. We want, firstly, our beloved stories to be treated with respect, and then, of course, we want good quality for our money. If we pay for a streaming service, we want quality made shows, especially then when they cost a lot of money to make, when the budget was billions and billions of dollars. And that is the main problem that we have had, the poor quality of the show. But of course, certain people cannot deal with constructive criticism, so their only defense is uh, an extreme offense and calling people names. Amazon Prime's billion-dollar production of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power has been targeted with a flood of racist and misogynist abuse online. Now, these are the two words, again, that are being used more and more today, and they mean nothing. If you are called these two things by uh, extreme leftists like uh, Anna Smallhair, uh, you can be sure that you can wear them as a badge of honor. Amazon disabled reviews for the shows due to review bombing when online users seek to overwhelm reviews based on political agendas. Online commenters have both criticized the casting of people of color and how the story focuses on powerful women, or we have simply criticized all the plot holes, all the cringy dialogue, the poor writing. Uh, I remember that when I was writing my first fantasy stories, when I was eight years old, the writing resembled that writing from the Rings of Power, and of course, we have also been criticizing uh, the showrunners who have been lying to us all along. They know nothing about the law, or they are willingly 
and uh, quite deliberately ignoring it. But they are always saying back to the book, back to the book, back, back to the book, and we will honor the legacy of Professor Tolkien. Absolutely not. Please do feel f uh, free to check out my other videos on that matter. Literature scholar, <coughs> Craig Fred. Now, if, if someone is called scholar today, it's not uh, a positive, uh, believe me. I do come from academic background. I know it. Has been researching the culture wars and ne Oh, look at that word! Yeah, politics in Tolkien studies! Oh, yes, this is nothing new once again, right? In a podcast he hosts with historian Danny Holt, an expert in American conservatism, they uh, discuss how online <coughs> mm -hmm, use media to harness blockbuster cultural productions as in the far-right backlash to Amazon's Rings of Power series. Now, I have been observing the fans' reactions for months now uh, to all the trailers and teasers and interviews, and then, of course, to the show itself. And I do know, I do see that people from all around the world, from the entire socio-political spectrum, do not enjoy poorly made shows. So only saying that people who don't like the Rings of Power are far right is uh, wrong and a lie. As a literature scholar who studied Tolkien's fiction and scholarly writings, I encourage discussions of adaptations to gain a better understanding of how they respond to Tolkien's works and the world we live in today. I am the very same thing that that woman says here. I, as a literature scholar who has studied Tolkien's fiction and scholarly writings, but, uh, you know, I don't think that this particular woman, if she focused on Tolkien, she uh, wrote the same papers, articles and theses that I have. Now, there are some of them in audio form on my channel. I wrote on Tolkien and runes. I wrote on the use of alliterative verse in Tolkien's fiction. I wrote on um, the uh, relationship between the primary and, and the secondary world in fantasy in general, and so on and so forth. It was, uh, a, in a majority of cases, articles and papers focused either on the uh, linguistic aspect of Tolkien's work or about storytelling in general, about storytelling techniques, no socio-political agendas that would be hidden in Tolkien or that I would uh, apply to Tolkien's works. Now, there is the clear difference between um, a, a person who is interested in fantasy and uh, a complete lunatic all right, but far-right commenters, once again far-right, have tried to shut down any discussion of a new retelling that is not to their liking. A better understanding of Tolkien's works and the nature of adaptations will combat some of the online disinformation and, har and harassment campaigns. That woman is using all the woke left, extreme left uh, words. This is fascinating. And by the way, once again, I am repeating it for a millionth time. The Rings of Power is not an adaptation because if you ha if you make 100% of an in newly invented story with newly invented characters and even those characters who bear the name of the Tolkien characters do not resemble the, he, or his original characters then it is not an adaptation it's a completely new story that just uses a famous name faithful adaptation once again <sighs> I have disproved this paragraph even before I read it aloud. Faithful adaptation. Long before the first episode aired September the 1st, some commenters condemned the show because they assumed it would not be faithful to the law, meaning the text Tolkien wrote. There is no such thing as faithful adaptation in all details. As literary scholar Linda Huchin has pointed out, every adaptation is a reinterpretation of source material. Far right, once again, far right. Commenters use Tolkien as an image of the world they want to have. A male dominated all white society and they attack any other interpretations wrong that is incorrect and you are projecting here you are projecting you want the opposite of what you wrote here so you call us uh, the very same thing that you are we have never said that or at least I have never said that and uh, it, it, it it always happens these days you don't like <clears throat> a product that a huge corporation makes and then all the fourth wave feminists come in and they try to label you something. And the worst thing is that you enjoy something, you enjoy uh, a story that is a fandom around 
let's say, an IP or a franchise like Star Wars. And then the bloody fourth wave extreme feminist come, they destroy it and they want you to leave. There are many memes on this matter on the internet. Legitimate literary discussion, therefore, is threatened with being overwhelmed by intimidation and disinformation. You are disinforming and misinforming your readers throughout this entire article. In this way, they can influence even those fans who are new to Tolkien or ideas about adaptation. Let's take a look at some of the most popular misconceptions circulating now. Much has to be invented. The purpose of an adaptation may be to pay homage to the source or to critique it, but either way it will say something new as a retelling of a story. Producing an adaptation in a new medium, such as a TV show, requires a different way of telling a story compared to a print version. For Rings of Power, match has to be invented. Like everything, you mean. With the approval of the Tolkien estate, puh, bunch of Judases, Amazon has bought the rights to tell a story of the Second Age of Middle-earth based on the appendices in The Lord of the Rings, a chapter worth of notes, scribbled at the back of the Lord of the Rings, <coughs> most of it being comprised of dates and family trees. All right, you have somehow forgot to mention that. In these appendices, Tolkien only briefly outlined what happened in Middle-earth before the events chronicled in the Lord of the Rings. Did Tolkien hate adaptations? Yes. She is trying to get around it in this paragraph, but yes, he did. And please feel free to check out uh, my video, specifically my video on Tolkien and adaptations. Far-right commenters, again, uh, like to claim they know... So, you want to tell me, my dear writer of this article, that everybody, and only and exclusively, those people who are critiquing the, uh, the Rings of Power are just far-right. Nobody else d is doing that. Okay, far-right commenters like to claim they know Tolkien's mind and that he would disapprove of the Amazon adaptation because it does not represent all white right cast of male heroes. But we simply cannot know what Tolkien would have thought of this current adaptation. He would have despised it. 100% be, be sure of it. Another frequent claim is that Tolkien hates all adaptations, but Tolkien's criteria for approval can be summed up in, in his own words, Art or cash. In a letter to his uh, son Christopher, Tolkien said he and his publisher Stanley Unwin ha had agreed on a policy of approving adaptations if either the author had a veto on objectionable uh, features or if they were very profitable. Whether Tolkien would like the Amazon adaptation or not, his stories have opened up an expansive mythology that has already been adapted by, uh, for decades by filmmakers, artists, game designers, musicians, cosplayers, fiction writers and others. Are you trying to compare cosplayers, artists, game designers, mu musicians, uh, and Peter Jackson, really, uh, to Amazon? Now, I have also got another video where I discuss a, l a little bit more in depth uh, the letter in which he was talking about the other minds and hands and how m very much mis misinterpreted this quote is. Now, please feel free to check it out. Purposeful retelling. One of the, f again, far right, repeated white, oh, this word claims uh, is that Tolkien was representing the Euro, uh, he, he was. The European Middle Ages, and therefore his car yes, but you know, uh, the Wokies despise facts. But the Middle Ages in Europe included, yes, but uh, one or two individuals who were brought there against their own will, or travelers, or traders from distant lands, they, they does not count as being native inhabitants. So you're wrong there. And uh, this article, uh, I, I mean, this paragraph, Helen Young, a literature scholar who examines whiteness in popular culture, explores how popular Western fantasy writers and readers assume the good characters were. Uh, do you know why the majority of uh, fantasy characters are Caucasian? Uh, because the best fantasy writers and the most of the fantasy writers existing are Caucasian. Now, what do you want to tell me about that? Do you want to blame them for writing their stories the way they want? If you want to have a, a different fantasy story, go ahead and write one. 
but I don't think you would be able to. All you can do is write so far left extremist socio political manifestos like this one. And now this is this, this is skewed. This has been disproved a thousand of times before. Other points, uh, details like the Hobbit, Sam being described as having brown hands, or the Halfwoods Hobbit being. So once again, you live in Europe or wherever in the world. You are Caucasian. You are exposed to the sun, and Samwise Gamgee was a bloody gardener, by the way. Mm -hmm. What do you think happens to your skin? you get tanned. I don't have to comment any further upon that. Tolkien, complex attitudes to race. Oh, we're well, complex as literary scholar Dimitra Femi. She is uh, the biggest extreme left crazy wacko feminist there is. Now check her out on the internet. Her articles are crazy. Although Tolkien made statements against ism and ism, his base, he based his work on East hierarchies and medieval racial stereotypes. Now, do you really want to know more about this woman? I take it back. Don't look her up. Don't read anything she wrote. It might be damaging and harmful for your brain. Some adaptations might prefer to emphasize how Lord of the Rings depicts races such as hobbits, elves and dwarves who bridge their differences to find common aims. Ismail Cruz Cordova Ah, a Latino actor who plays the elf on the year in the Amazon series posted about how it is important to see ourselves, to imagine ourselves, and to occupy the spaces that we rightfully deserved. Rightfully deserved by what? What did you do? And besides, everybody can read Tolkien's works, everybody can enjoy Tolkien's works, nobody can saying nobody is saying that you can't. It doesn't matter what you look like. Now, if you only want to see yourself in things that you read or watch, and if you can't enjoy these things without seeing yourself in, in these things, don't read any books, don't watch any films. Just go look into the mirror, pat yourself on the back, cry about how beautiful you are, and sort off. All right. Too much emphasis on whamming. Even before the first episode aired, some commenters repeatedly complained about Warrior Galadriel, based on... Prim or of, of course it should be pronounced Galadriel, but this is Amazon's version, so it's Galadriel, based on promotional photos. Many expected to see the ethereal lady of Peter Jackson's movies, or simply... Yes, because this is what Galadriel is, according to the law, to what Tolkien wrote, full stop. It does not matter what you say. This is false, and all those little bits and pieces and snippets from Tolkien's text or Tolkien letters about he, her athletic skills or being of Amazon disposition are lines, sentences, and half sentences taken out of context and uh, being forcefully misrepresented to your own image. So, sort of, once again. By this current adaptation portrays, uh, by the current adaptation portrays the younger Galadriel that uh, Tolkien hinted at in some versions once again ambitious, athletic, and fierce fighter. This is misinterpretation. This is lie. This is misinformation. You are dabbling in misinformation, dear writer of this video. Please, people. I've got about ten or fifteen videos about Galadriel on my channel, both about. Uh, Tolkien's Galadriel and about uh, Amazon's Galadriel. Feel free to go to my channel, check them out. You will know all about it. Contrary to, once again, far-right expectations that an epic story should praise white male heroes, uh, Rings of Power puts women at the center in every storyline without eliminating male readers and warriors. These people who are writing these articles, they have never ever whatsoever read any fantasy book. They have never seen any action film. Because it is a fact that strong female protagonists have been present in storytelling since forever. But of course, fourth wave feminists just refuse to accept it. Productive questions. All my reviews are, product are productive and constructive, so sort of. 
Tolkien is not above negative criticism, neither is any adaptation, we can ask productive questions about the purpose and methods of adaptation and the, co and the corporation funding it. Tolkien readers hold a broad range of views, and they won't all agree when discussing the creative choices in this particular adaptation, but prejudging it based on far once again far-right... What are far-right Tolkien points? Tell me, Anna Small, professor of English literature, Mount St. Vincent U University, does it surprise you that the writer of this article is a woman and an American? It doesn't surprise me at all, because this is all we've been getting from the U.S. academics lately. Do not believe anybody who in 2022 says that they are scholar or talking expert. Because they are all bloody wackos. And I know it. First hand experience. Alright. Please. Before you comment under this video. Do go back to my channel. There is a playlist. Uh, that is called Rings of Power by Amazon. Check out the videos. Watch them. And then come back my dear friends. And tell me what you think about this woman. And this article. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm Maria.